Yeah. Um, now, I haven't followed the Bill Nye Ken Ham debate at all. I've, I've, I've seen it on Facebook. I've, I've seen it on Google+. Plus. I've seen a lot of people sort of saying that Bill Nye effectively wiped the floor with Ken Ham. What do you think happened? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's a fair representation. I don't think it was much of a debate. It's more or less mm. they had their opening statements, they made mm -hmm. their points, and they really didn't address either uh, position. I think the big thing Bill Nye did, which I appreciated, was he kind of kept it to what what can you use your creation model as yeah. presented to predict? How is that predictable? Yeah. How is that useful? And he's stressing the importance of uh, education in America and how it's going to yeah. affect our role in the world in the future. So more yeah. or less I was happy with the way it went. There really wasn't much evidence being presented. Yeah. And at uh, one point, Ken Ham actually admitted there is no evidence that that would convince him that his position was wrong. So effectively, he was admitting he's dishonest in his. Yeah, yeah. It makes it very difficult to falsify his position, then, doesn't it? it it's very difficult for him to say um, this does not work because his his worldview does seem to be predicated um, almost as an act of faith rather than it's something he could empirically test. Definitely. Yeah. And I mean, I guess he, to his credit, I guess he admits that. But yeah, uh, yeah. Him making this whole debate as though it, I think one of the if you're going to go into a debate, I think you have to be honest and say, well, if the person makes a convincing case, then mm -hmm. I'm willing to change my mind, or at least at least say you're willing to change your mm -hmm. mind. But he mm -hmm. he really didn't he do that. No, no, no. Um, am I correct? Did, did, have you debated, um, is it Site and Brookenkate at some stage? I have. and I, I typically don't use the word debate. I use the word discussion. Mm. Cause I, you I had a discussion with him. Yeah, I think of a debate as more of a formalized thing. And mm. for myself, uh, who's a busy person in life, I really don't have the time to go out and create a opening statement. And, mm. and I've seen a lot of debates... And I, the best part of the base for me is the crossfire where they're going back and forth. It's basically, yeah. if, if you don't do that, it's basically just giving the Christian a position to preach for yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah. And, I, I mean, the, I, one of the cool things about the uh, discussion, debate, whatever it was, with uh, Bill Nye was I think Bill Nye was the one who put out tons and tons of information, which normally yes. it's the other way around. The creationists list about... 40 things and you have no time to address them. Uh, yeah. Bill Nye basically yeah. listed 40 things and uh, Ken Ham, yeah. I Ken think Ham didn't address any of them. I think William Lane Craig is notorious for doing that, isn't he? When, he? when he has a debate, he insists on going first and as part of his opening statement, that's what he does. He will present, let's say, the, 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 the four fields um, the four evidence that he has for the ex existence of God, and then within each of those four areas, he asks, I don't know, four questions. So in, in effect, the respondent in, in, in their opening remarks has to address these, let's say, 16 to 20 questions, and in the time that they've got, they just there, there's not enough time. And then Bill will take the viewer, well, if you did, weren't able to rebut my question, it must be true, which just seems quite deceitful. Um, I think in terms of your exchanges with um, Site and Brookenkate, and also my exchanges with Site and Brookenkate, I felt that um, the conversation method works if Sai and people like him, and this includes people like Bible Thumping Wingnut, if they are going to come to the discussion honestly to exchange an opinion, uh, to exchange a, a viewpoint, rather than to proselytize, which is how I felt when I've um, engaged Sight and Brunkate. That That's how I felt he was. He wasn't there to exchange an opinion. He wasn't there to uh, learn anything. He wasn't there to necessarily have his worldview challenged. He wanted to preach, and I would say that's generally my expectation with Sai or people like Eric Hoven. Who, mm -hmm. I mean, the only reason I know about Sai, I don't know if it's for, with you, is because of Eric Hoven. 
yeah. and popularizing that position. And that that's all they're going to do. They they know that their arguments are going to hold up to a certain degree. Yeah. And they have their trump card where they're just going to be like, well, uh, the Bible says so. That's it. There's yeah. They're not yeah. going to accept any other evidences. Yeah. Have you seen the um, Matt Dillahunty video responding to Sai's um, latest uh, challenge um, for a debate at all? I did not see his response. I was I watched the atheist experience and I saw mm. Matt address a caller who was trying to do a presuppositional argument, yeah. and he yeah. mentioned Sai, and then I saw Sai's little, you know, call out to Matt Dillahunty. Mm. But I I haven't seen Matt's response to Sai. I don't I think, think Sai's done a lot of debates recently. I, I after I talked to Sai, the yeah. only other one I've seen him do was on uh, Dogma debate with yeah. Aaron, Aaron Aaron Ra and. Uh, yes, that that was sure. quite a good one. I saw that. That was um, a great one. Yeah, I think that uh, I'm I'm sort of getting the sense that Sai's um, star is on the wane. Um, I think people are sort of getting quite tired. Um, of it because it's, it, it's not the easiest apologetic to understand never mind try to engage with it seems very counterintuitive and seems very dry as well how long can you put up with somebody saying to you how do you know um, never mind trying to rebut it it's just so dull um, and I, I do get the sense that people aren't terribly bothered about it anymore well, I would say when I first heard about it, that's how I felt. I was I couldn't figure – I knew there was something wrong with that argument, but I yeah. couldn't figure out what it was. Yeah. Now, once you get to a certain point, you realize it's it's an extremely simplistic argument, and it's not – It's I, when I first discussed, talked to Sai, and I noticed I think one of the big reasons he has not been on for a while is he's trying to reformulate this argument because the yeah. argument as it had been presented doesn't work anymore. It's no. going to start out with you. Could you be wrong about everything you claim to know? And that yeah. is false. And we've we've found ways to answer that in a way that he's not going to be able to twist it out of yes. his worldview. Just yes. saying simple things like, "Well, I, I can't be um, all knowing. I can't be yeah. your god." Yeah. Well, that I mean, he has to move on from that initial point, and he doesn't know how to move on from that initial yeah. point. So. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that the, the, the actual argument it, it itself, I think there are advocates who are better at it. Um, but I don't think he's, um, he wants to go to, the, to that extent of, of, of learning the apologetic, that he can, that he can um, uh, move away from the very simplistic apologetic that he's been using for years. Um, right. And I do also get the sense that Eric is quite mercenary. <laughs> Eric will, will use whatever works and I think that for a while he thought size apologetic worked for his benefit and I think that there is a sense that it's not working anymore um, and maybe he'll, he'll move away from supporting Sai in, in perhaps the way that he has done before. And I think Eric might be a, a little bit of a different case. I I kind of got into being interested in YouTube videos through Eric's father, Kent Hoven. Yes. I watched yeah. everything he had. I was just fascinated with... Because, I mean, before... It might seem strange now, but before YouTube, I would never have had access to creationist videos. I might have heard bits and pieces of their propaganda out yes. hand, but the first time... And I was already an atheist at that point, but the first time I heard a Kent Hoven seminar, I was like... There's so much there. I knew yeah. I knew it was bull, but I was like, well, yeah. I mean, he's, I'm like, well, I, I don't think there were ever giants on the earth, but I don't know. Are these real skeletons? Yeah. Or I mean, yeah. they, that wouldn't conclude his his whole story. But there was yeah. so much there that I was I don't know if I want to use the word impressed, but his father was definitely very thorough in creating a a story that yeah. would be plausible to a casual person. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. Eric, I think I don't. I don't think Eric is. <clears throat> if you look into it, he was very young during those times. I don't know if Eric has really had a real job. Yeah, <clears throat> Eric. Eric doesn't have the the convenience or the opportunity to not do what he does. So, uh, to, the, to the degree he's genius about what he says, yeah. I'm sure he probably has convinced himself. But he he's not as 
polished as a side Tim Bergen Kate. Yeah. And he doesn't try to be. So no. 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 he he looks a lot better. I mean his videos and the quality of what they do is pretty incredible. But Yeah. They've got very good production values there. And in a strange yeah. way, I know his father is getting out of prison next year, and, mm. and I'm excited for that. I mm. I honestly, I preferred, I preferred them presenting their evidence. I prefer them going out and claiming that, you know, dinosaurs ate meat, and just claims that I can address in a reasonable way. There's yeah. nothing interesting about worrying about the, the, the foundation of knowledge and knowing that I exist, and it's yeah. it's so silly and absurd that it mm -hmm, gets us mm -hmm. nowhere. It's a distraction. Yeah. So yeah. I would hope that Kent Hovind in his decade in prison has, has thought of some great new examples of how evolution has been disproven. And Yeah, yeah. Because we've had plenty yeah. of time to research every one of his examples. Yeah.